Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Sharon from Mad Paper Crush here. And today I'm doing the second part of my assemblage videos where I am reviewing some of my favorite projects that I did throughout the year with you. And all of the information for these projects will be linked down below in the description. And I will also link to part one so that you can check that out if you want to as well. So welcome to the last week of 2021. Can you believe it, friends? I can't believe that we've already made it through this year um, with the, you know, craziness of last year. And now this year, um, you know, there are still people who are in sort of a crazy situation. <laughs> so I hope that you're well wherever you are and that you will join me for just some um, creative enjoyment, looking over projects and maybe even doing some of your own. So let's go ahead and get started with assemblage part two. All right, first project, and we're coming out of the gate hot here because altered paper clips, I they're addicting. <laughs> so if you start making some of these, just know you're going to be addicted <laughs> to doing them. I had so much fun doing them, and this is just sort of the tip of the iceberg. I am sure there are just a ton of other, you know, um, permutations that you could do of these types of altered paper clips and they're so much fun in a journal. So I, I do, I love all of them. So um, I've done everything from, you know, where you can see the paper clip, just adding, you know, ribbon, just adding a little bit of paper to kind of make it look like um, a bead or something like that, you know, to something way more extravagant, like a, something that looks like a little specimen slide, um, a completely hidden paper clip. You can't see the paper clip at all. It sort of looks like just an embellishment on a journal. Actually, I will show you some of these. Let me just kind of pull out my journal here, move these to the side. And I'll show you what some of these look like on the page because they really are so much fun. So um, adding things just to one side of a paper clip is nice because it sort of adds some dimension to your journal. So, you know, you have your ribbon sticking up here if you wanted to add it to there. And as you move it around, it could do different things. You could even put something like this on the side where it would stick out the side of your journal. So that's a lot of fun too. So even just the simplest of embellishment on a paper clip really adds a lot of uh, fun, I think, to your journal. So um, then there's, like I said, some of these other ones where this one is a totally hidden um, paper clip. So you just slide it over the page and the paper clip is in there and it will hold um, nice to your page. But what's kind of cool about this one is that you could take, um, you know, a tag or something like that and put it in here and the paper clip holding um, the page in between here will also hold whatever, you know, ephemera or something you wanted to put in there. So I loved this idea. This was, um, this was so much fun to be able to do and put into your journal, because like I said, it kind of just looks like, you know, some ephemera there. It looks like part of a page, but you can move it around and, you know, do whatever you want with it. So those were really fun. And then of course, I love me a good specimen tag. So this was a, a die cut. Um, I think it's a sample design um, die cut for the specimen. And we did some embossing on there and added some brads to there but it, I love the way, you know, that it looks, but I love specimen tags too. So this one was a lot of fun to do. Um, and then let's see, uh, there was some, let's see, these were removable ones. So that's kind of the other thing that I like to do is I like to make my paper clip um, tags removable sometimes so that if I wanted to change them up and put something else on them, I totally could if I wanted to. Um, but this one I just wanted to show you because it goes on the page sideways like this. So you don't always have to have something that's up and down like this one might look kind of silly if I put it, you know, this way um, on the page there, but you can, you know, make them however you want to make them. So um, there's a lot of options for different things like that. And then even something like this, I had this little um, ladybug wooden piece and I pretty much, I think I, um, I'm not sure if I used epoxy or if I used PVA glue. I'm not sure exactly what I used there, but I love the way this one looks too, because once again, it adds, you know, something from the, to the top of your journal that is kind of fun sticking out there. So these are a lot of fun as well. And let's see, what else did we do here? We did, um, we did collaging on paper clips. This is another one of the removable ones that I did. I think, oops, let me find a paper clip that might work in here. 
I don't know if this one will fit, but I'll give it a try. It might be too big. But this one was um, a die cut, another die cut that I did. So, and you could put this one um, on your page too. And so isn't that kind of fun? I mean, it is something sticking out a little bit, but it definitely adds some interest to your page as well. Um, and then we did some with pockets. So this one was fun because you could keep little pieces of ephemera right in this pocket. And this was also done with die cuts. Um, but I love that there's a little pocket in here, once again, sort of making it interactive. So it's not just, you know, sitting on your page doing nothing. And then this one also would be one, well, actually they all are, they all would be one that would hold something else on your page if you wanted it to do that. So that's a lot of fun too. And then we even did some with some punches. So with circles and things like that. And then I punched out um, sort of just a little, I don't know, hole in this circle to be able to do something. So there's lots of different options for these paper clips. Um, we did some with beads. I don't have that one here with me right now, but there are actually two videos that I'm going to link to because I did kind of a part one and a part two for all the different kinds of um altered paper clips that you could do. And I didn't even mention this one, but this one is a little hidden note card. So it's fun. Whoops. Now I probably made myself a knot. Let me see if I can get that out here. Um, let's see if I can do this. There we go. I think it's coming. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. When you open this one up, it actually has a little hidden journal spot in it that you could um, journal on. So that one's really fun too, because it looks, you know, very unsuspecting as just a little, you know, piece of paper with a ribbon on it, but you could put some hidden journaling in there. So that's a lot of fun too. So I hope that you'll give these a try. These were, like I said, addicting. So if you get started, you may not stop. And I'm sure that you'll come up with a ton more variations too, because that's what I kept noticing as I did one I had an idea for you know something else that might be fun to do even with the style that I was working on so these were a lot of fun to do all right next project and this I think was one of my absolute favorites for the year um, these little pocket journals pocket notebooks um, that I have here and what's fun about these is that they're made from time cards so um, in my last video, if you watched part one, you saw that um, I had purchased a whole bunch of these time cards and um, I love them, but there's a lot of them <laughs> and I need to find some things to do with them. So I was just trying to think of some ideas to use up some of these time cards. And this is what I came up with for one of my projects. And I really, really love them. Um, you can see they're, you know, they're perfectly sized here. They're, I think they're about three inches wide by maybe six inches tall or something like that. So they're perfect to just put into a purse. You can use them for um, grocery lists. You can use them for, you know, just jotting notes down, to-do lists, things like that. They're perfect for that. Um, and you can see the time cards. I use two time cards for each journal. And the time cards, um, if you see how, kind of how long they are here, if you fold this bottom up, it makes a perfect po pocket here, which gives us the size of the journal. So I love that this was so easy to do. Just fold it up and you've got your pocket right here in the front. And then, of course, one in the back as well. So um, they're really easy to make. I added a little um, fabric spine to each one. And these are kind of scrap pieces of fabric as well, but I love how they just add a little bit of, you know, texture and dimension to your notebook there. And these are just one signature, one small signature. Um, I don't know, there's probably eight or 10, you know, pages in here all together, but it makes such a cute little, little book that you could use and even give as gifts. So, um, and the fronts, um, the covers are actually napkin decoupage. So it's only limited. You could do Christmas ones, you could do any holiday. It's only limited by whatever napkins you can find. <laughs> so you can see here, I have one, you know, there's a butterfly napkin here, these beautiful roses here, sort of an ocean theme I have going here, but you could do this with any sort of napkin that you have and come up with a wonderful theme for, you know, a friend who enjoys, you know, certain things. It's, you know, it's not limited to anything like that. And 
if you're making this for a friend, so I have friends who don't understand <laughs> junk journaling and they would be confused about, you know, what to do with these different pages that aren't necessarily blank pages or lined pages. Um, they would be confused by this. So if I was making this for one of those friends, I would make the cover the same, but I would just add plain paper on the inside. So just make it notebook paper on the inside there and it would be a perfect little gift for a friend um, to have you know, if you're going out to meet friends for for Christmas or just even for, you know, a party or a get together, these make perfect little gifts to do that. And once again, they're, they're quick and easy to do. So I hope that you head down to the link and take a look at these if you have some gifts that you need in a hurry, but that are really um, special and nice. Okay, next up, tags. Now these look like your normal everyday tags, but what I thought was so much fun about these tags is that they're actually um, layered. So, and the top layer is a piece of acetate that has some collage on it. And the bottom, you know, it could be anything. It could be a digital uh, piece of paper like this one is here, or it could be, you know, book pages. It could be um, scrapbook paper that you have. It could be anything here, but I thought these were so much fun because when you layer them, you know, you have all the sort of things that are on the back coming through to the front. Plus they're, you know, they're just little dimensions of, um, tags. And I added, um, some, the collage that I added on the front, I actually sewed onto here. So that was fun too. And then I added some additional ephemera onto the um, tag toppers there, a little ticket here, a little key with some ribbon and things here. But I really love the way these turned out. Um, I added some paint. So these kind of got into some mixed media here. You can see the paint around the edges. I did a yellow paint on this one and I did a green paint on this one. So I like the way it kind of frames the whole tag when you do something like that. But this is, I think, a perfect project for fussy cut books that you have, you know, um, you have some things cut out from books and things like that that you're not sure where to use. I think these make beautiful little additions to your journals that you can put into pockets or even just clip on to different pages. I think these are so much fun and I love the layered look of them as well. So acetate tags and these are also quick and easy to do if you have some acetate make sure you have acetate because that makes it a lot easier <laughs> to do that project all right next up for a project and this one was also fun um, i love having you know just some extra ephemera around to be able to add to different journal pages, um, to collages, things like that. And stamps are a wonderful thing to be able to add, you know, into your collages and your journals. So it's good to have a supply of them around. And um, in this project, what I had done was created my own stamps. So if you don't have actual stamps that you can use, there's a lot of different, there's a variety of different ways to make stamps using some of the tools and supplies and different things that you have um, around. So you you can use die cuts uh, if you wanted to to make stamps which I think is you know great but you may not even have those so in this video we talk about different ways that you can create your own faux stamps um, using you know things that you have around probably you know sitting in your toolbox if not your desk drawer or things like that so these were a lot of fun and like I said I love having sort of a stash of these a supply of these on hand to be able to do stuff with them so I used fussy cuts in them so this was a fussy cut little item. I used stamps in them. I used brads and different um, different pieces of, you know, uh, loose ephemera in these. I used stickers, book pages, um, and then also some, you know, postal stamps. Um, actually, this one was not. This one I think I did by hand, but there are some stamps that have postal stamps, but you don't even have to use those if you don't have those. So this was um, a fun project to kind of think outside the box and be able to create some faux stamps using um, tools and things that maybe you didn't think of or doing them in ways that, you know, were a little bit um, easier than having to go out and buy all the different tools that you might need to make a faux stamp. So check out this project down below. All right. Uh, this is the last main project that I wanted to talk about. And um, who doesn't love a hidden pocket? So I, I find myself 
I just love little hidden spots that you can put things in. And that's kind of what this project is about. So I love that these kind of look like, you know, unsuspecting note cards. They're just a little note card that you can put into your journal. You can write on the back of them, but they have a secret. <laughs> and that's what's so fun about these. So when you pull down the top here, you can see that there's a pocket right here where you can put a little piece of um, ephemera to do, you know, a note card or something like that on. So that's just one spot. But then also this has a little flip in it that has another little pocket over here and a pocket right here for you to add even more, you know, ephemera and things to. So I love that this one little piece ends up holding so much fun <laughs> and it's all you know kind of hidden together so and then this one i think i even did um even more so i added a pocket to the first flip here right here on the side as well as when you open it up there's another pocket over here and then there is the um, little pocket at the bottom for all your little pieces of ephemera and things like that. So I loved this project. And once again, you know, um, this wasn't too hard to put together. So you, I have all, the whole tutorial on how to do these and they're so much fun to add to your journals. And this, I, I just used one digital kit. So um, that's a kind of other fun thing too, is if you have a digital kit, you can use the full pages to make little projects like this and, you know, use the little pieces of ephemera to put into pockets and things like that. But a lot of the back pages, the pocket pages and things like that were actually full size journal sheets that I cut down to make um, into this project. So I really enjoyed this one. This one was a lot of fun to do as well. All right, and I promised you a little bonus that I wanted to show you. This is actually my advent journal for uh, the Christmas season this season. And I wanted to just show you, I, I have a project on how I put the whole journal together, but I wanted to create um, an advent journal from this. So I have um, a little freebie that includes all the numbers from one to, I believe 25, yep, one to 25. And it's a freebie that's only free until the end of the year. So if you still want to get this freebie, if you go out to madpapercrush.com forward slash advent 2021, you'll be linked to this uh, freebie that has a page of all these numbers together. And I'll kind of show you them um, as we go through. So this is number one and two right here. And you can cut these out and use them, you know, for anything that you would want to do. This is three and four. I have their little Santa at the bottom. Five is up here on the top. And I think six is right here. So I have a whole variety. They look all different. They're, they don't match. I love them because of that. Oh, where's seven? Seven is hit, hiding. There's seven right there. And then I have eight under here. I love that little Santa guy. Nine there. And, oops, 10 must be hiding too. Oh, 10 is probably in here. 10 is right there. Little angel, ain't she sweet? 11, Santa again. 12 and 13, 14. I don't know where 15 is. Four, I love 14, riding in the car there, maybe on the way to grandma's house. 15, 16, 17 on the Christmas tree. I love that. 18 is right there. Oop, 19's probably in here. Yep, 19. Fun little cardinal right there. 20 angels. 21, 22. I love the deer. 23, let's go sledding. 24 is right there with the angels. And then 25 is right there. And there's even a little somewhere. Oh, not on here. I think I have it in the front maybe. There is a, maybe not. There's a little Merry Christmas somewhere too. I'm not sure where I ended up putting him. But the page that you get is just a page full of all of the, um, all of the stickers. 
So the journal itself is something a little bit different, but if you would like to get these um, labels, these advent number labels, you can go out to madpapercrush.com forward slash advent 2021. And I'll also link it down below for you to have some fun with those numbers. And like I said, it's only gonna be free until the end of the year. And then I'm probably gonna put it into my um, Etsy shop. So I hope you'll go out and grab those and have some fun with those. Even if you, um, you know, didn't do Advent this year, I think this is something you can go back and do. So I haven't finished all of these myself yet. Um, so you can certainly go back in and just create memories. Um, it's kind of like a, it could also be used like a December daily kind of thing where you can just remember the days, you know, up until Christmas if you wanted to as well. So I hope that you will go out and get those friends before I take them out. Um, that's it. So those are all the projects for 2021 that I want to, to kind of review with you. All the links to the projects are down below if you're interested in trying to craft along with me. I hope that you will if you've been inspired by any of these or if you just would like some more information. Thanks so much, friends, for watching. I hope you have a happy, healthy new year, and I will catch you in 2022. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.